Hey guys, welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, the King of Do, and I'm here for a quick market update on this episode. And we're taking a look at the markets today because it is a day of red. It is a bloodbath out there, and I love red days myself. They are uh, wonderful indicators for what the market truly believes um, as far as the valuation goes. Um, it helps identify what might be overhyped, um, what is real, and what isn't real. And so we're going to walk through some of the coins here, um, some of the big names. I'm not going to go deep down the list, but uh, we're going to move down the list, and we're going to talk about each one um, and about where it's potentially headed and uh, just how it's basically reacting to Bitcoin. So essentially, Bitcoin had quite the sell-off today. And of course, it's dragging things down with it. That's just the way things go. Uh, people panic uh, with Bitcoin. They see Bitcoin go down, and then they s people who don't know the markets very well, th you know, a lot of those people are cashing out, which is crazy to think about. Just how many people don't really know uh, what it means to be down um, and things like that. So, just because they don't peg against the Bitcoin, essentially, they just see red and they get scared, right? Like um, days like this on Wall Street, uh, people lose their houses. But like uh, it's just a normal day for us in cryptocurrency world. We're used to these red days, and that's why I'm so fascinated by them. Um, that's why I like uh, doing market updates on red days. But I'm also here to uh, help encourage you on these red days as well, uh, all of you investors. Um, even if you're not, um, I think it's important um, uh, if you're fascinated by this uh, technology. Um, it's good to know um, what the market thinks is real and what isn't and uh, what the money is uh, doing in this space. Uh, we're still at a, a well over uh, 100 billion mark. Uh, we've been, uh, we took quite a huge dump earlier today. We hit about 107 and now we're really s kind of slowing down. Um, we're down to 103 though, but it's slowing down. We're starting to level out, it seems. Um, but we're continuing to see a lot of the money, not pour out of Bitcoin at this point, but just some of the other alts. And uh, so we're, let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, as you can see, Ripple uh, holding up nicely today, actually, um, against the Bitcoin. Uh, Ripple was able to do well. Um, you know, if you if if everyone wants to take a, um, some people like to look at Ethereum um, against Bitcoin, and uh, that's down eight percent, which is essentially the exact amount as Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is down eight. And Ethereum is down 8% below that, so Ethereum took a hard hit today, um, but not nearly as bad as everything else, so I, I do not believe it's anything to worry about. Uh, Ripple here uh, doing pretty well. Um, I think Ripple um, is preparing um, for another move. Uh, you can see uh, that it's just starting a consolidation effect. It uh, moves sideways here for a while, um, and now it's got a little bit more volatility with a little upside. Uh, we may see this consolidation continue and allow this triangle to finish forming. Um, it could be another month or so before we see Ripple blow up, um, but it could blow down, and that's just kind of what's happening there. I think there's a lot of people um, who got into Ripple, and they're like, well, I'm just going to ride it out. There's a ton of people that got in at two pennies not that long ago, and they don't really care what it's worth at this point because they cashed out half of what they had and they are wealthy now and they're like, well, I'll just leave this in here in case, you know, Ripple keeps going. So um, there is a lot of money being held up in Ripple right now. Whether you believe in Ripple or not, besides the point, it's just a market indicator and that's what we're talking about. Um, sorry, I accidentally clicked the wrong button here. And uh, my computer's slightly slow right now while uh, running my video recording and I have a billion tabs open as you guys all know uh, we're gonna go back here apologize about that but we're gonna talk about NIM now um, NIM is actually holding up pretty nice at a negative point uh, negative six percent seven percent it's just hilarious that we can say that that's good right now but uh, when you're looking at the Giants up here um, NIM is doing all right so ripple is performing the best um, but NIM is doing actually quite well. There's really, really strong support right here at the 19, 20% range, um, and it shouldn't dip down. In fact, uh, when I was looking at technical analysis, it looks like NIM, um, as it made its first 
potential bullish move. Um, we may finally see NEM wake up, but um, we also know that uh, the conference in China is going on. Um, NEM is going to be there talking, and uh, it's definitely something to keep your eye on. Uh, there have been buys leading up today, up to today. Um, we live in a world where maybe people know some news. Maybe they're buying um, in advance of some news. Um, I think a lot of people are hoping for good news. Uh, personally, um, it's uh, not a big deal to me. Not a big deal to me. Um, if you're thinking about entering, uh, now is actually a decent time based on what I'm seeing on my screen and the technical analysis. Uh, I was telling people to get in at 17 a while ago. Now you're trying to get anything under 20. Um, and it looks like you might sneak an order in right under 20 cents right now. Um, and, uh, you know, the way I see it is even if you break through that uh, resistance, you got that 17 that existed before. So that's your risk. Um, but the upside, we all know that NIM has hit 25 cents before. Um, the charts are bullish right now on NIM. And if news pops at the same time that you have a bullish chart, that could be exciting. And we're all expecting catapult. So, um, but I am not giving you financial advice there that do not buy it because I said so. I know I have quite the track record as of late. I had someone even leave a comment and I appreciate that comment. Um, it's slightly disturbing to be honest about um, coins. If I talk about it, it seems like they go up. Um, it's not me guys. I don't know. It's definitely not me. Um, it's probably more than that. You know, it's probably subconsciously a lot of uh, news I'm reading um, I, I talk about things that I'm reading a lot about, things that interest me. Um, there's probably a bigger picture going on there than just me being like, oh, this coin's cool, and boom, we all made money. <laughs> so just be safe out there, guys. Um, classic, uh, down more than Ethereum, um, but not enough to, to be of real relevance here. Uh, here's our new coin on the block here, this IOTA. Uh, looks like it's actually done some updating since yesterday, but... Uh, it's gone down quite a bit. Um, I'm still waiting to figure out what in the world's going on with this coin out of nowhere. You guys are leaving me a lot of good information in the comments and things like that. Um, but uh, to have it be valued at that uh, is pretty intense. Pretty intense. Um, I think the concept is cool. I'm still looking for someone to validate the code, to validate that this is real. Um, until then, it's it's speculative for me. Um, but it just moved down. There, it moves down again. It's lost 10% today. So it just moved down to number 7 while we're watching here. And back up to 6. Litecoin. Still holding around that $30 mark. It's down uh, negative 6. And we uh, want to keep an eye on Litecoin. Uh, tons of people out there targeting $50 by the end of the year on Litecoin. Um, I don't know. I actually don't really have an opinion on like on Litecoin myself um, when it comes to the markets, and I don't really have much to say about it. But looks like it's just doing this, uh, doing about what Nim was doing, and that's pretty decent right now. Dash getting wrecked. Um, I will say about Dash though, um, you should probably look for a buying opportunity. Um, the uh, the awareness campaign they have going right now. Um, on top of the charts looking quite good for Dash. Um, I am not the biggest fan of Dash. Uh, just not the biggest fan. But I have said on this channel before, Dash is commercializing better than anybody else this world we live in. They're doing something Bitcoin never has been able to do, and that's commercialize um, digital currency. Uh, they have a, the best marketing strategy. Uh, not going to say it's best in class. I'm <laughs> not going to say it's like uh, world-class marketing or something like that. It's not. But for the space that we're in and with all these startups, they're doing an excellent job. Um, and uh, I think that's helping their price. But with the price and adoption, they are getting new users. So uh, keep that in mind with Dash. I've said it a long time ago. Um, if you believe in cryptocurrency, um, you might want to own one Dash. 
That's what I've said. Um, because I think it's, uh, I think where Dash is headed is a potential indicator. Um, right now it's just fluctuating way too much. Um, so that's all I got to say about Dash. It's, it's, it's an interesting one to me. I'm fascinated by what they're trying to do. Um, and we'll see, we'll see where they end up. I, th I think they have a, a lot of good things going for them. Um, but there's a lot of criticisms about it as well. So, and I'm not, I won't get into that. Okay. Um, I hope this video isn't too choppy. I am recording in the background. Um, if it is choppy, just let me know. I'd love to know if it appears choppy to you right now. It looks a little choppy over here, which is a little unusual. Um, but I am uh, doing a lot with my computer at the moment. So, Stratus. Um, we've been talking about Stratus almost every day for the last few, uh, I don't know, last week or so. Uh, again, the entry areas is somewhere in the 7 range um, is the ideal entry point on Stratus. I think that's going to be the least amount of risk. Uh, but even um, with today's red, it did go down 14%. But with how volatile it's been, and that it settled at 828 right now is where it's at, it's actually not that bad. So you've got to really be following Stratus to understand that this negative 14 isn't as bad as it appears, because it is a it was uh, basically overbought real quick um, recently. Um, BitShares has fallen out of grace. It's starting to uh, trend significantly backwards. I think that this is a big piece of the capitalization that we're that that is disappearing. Uh, the market cap on it, we've lost 210 billion. Um, not billion, sorry, 210 million on bit bit shares as of late. Um, and uh, I'm going to skip uh, Monero because I actually want to talk about Zcash, the soon-to-be king of the privacy um, space. Uh, I've been doing more research on Zcash. And uh, that's just my forecast, and it's very close now, as you can see. Um, in a day of red, uh, it is up uh, in the green. Uh, it actually was as high as 7 or 8% uh, just a few moments ago, actually. Doing very, very, very well. Um, and it's also something that they have a very good team. They have a large team at that very transparent about who's on the team and it is a uh, uh a zero proof uh concept which i'm a huge fan of i talk about on this on the show in my regular non-market update videos but um zcash is positioned and poised to do extremely well and i said it yesterday i think it was yesterday i said it guys what the miners are pointing their machines at take note Okay, you have to know what the miners are up to. Zcash is what they're up to. Okay, um, so top ten coin, I would say yes, absolutely. That that is my bold prediction. You guys want a bold prediction? That doesn't even mean it has to go up in price, though. The reason I'm so bold on it is because I don't believe BitShares is going to hold. Um, in the short term, it definitely uh, went up through the roof rather quickly. It needs a correction. Um, I uh, I do see the value in in uh, bit shares. Did I say Bitcoin? I meant bit shares. I do say the value in bit shares um, in the long term. So I'd love it to come back down. Um, a lot of us did make some good money uh, on this channel on bit shares and got out at the top because it rested nicely up there. Um, and now it's going down. So we all look so smart, don't we? Don't we look so smart um, in getting out at the top of BitShares? And now we're down here um, looking for that entry point. But I'm, I'm waiting for that true support to form to understand where we should be getting in. Um, I'm willing to give up a little bit of percentage to have more confidence in getting in at the right time. Um, with that trickling down, um, with Monero on a slow grind out of the top 10 and moving down as well, Zcash is making... Uh, some serious leaps forward and uh, it's something that as far as the technology of the coin goes and what they're trying to achieve um, and where they are at as a community which I think the community aspect is critical um, because that um, is going to drive a lot of holders um, a lot of miners um, and real development um, around it which adds value it's actually 
that's what it really comes down to guys is that real development okay so I'm not gonna go any further than that I just wanted to get down to Zcash because uh, I wanted to let you guys know I've been doing more research on Zcash a lot of you have been asking me to um, I'm actually working and considering doing a full-blown video on it um, and uh, really in general it's uh, with privacy coins I'm, I'm fascinated by the privacy coins right now I'm trying to understand them better uh, and uh, do my research on them um, so I'm kind of just going in order um, learning about Pivx, learning about Zcash, working my way down um, there's some other really cool ones out there like Vert and things like that but um, I'll be, tr I'll be talking about those a little bit on my news channels and things like that. I'm going to be following them a little more closely. So, there you go, guys. Uh, in, in, to, to recap, essentially, um, the whole market today took a dump uh, because this morning there was uh, basically a threat uh, by, by the leaders of uh, the Bitcoin world to hard fork. And uh, maybe you don't know what a hard fork is, but that's what happened with Ethereum. It's why we have Ethereum Classic. Um, basically, there's just a threat to do it. The plan is to soft fork, which is to basically stay on the same chain. Without, I'm trying not to complicate it for some of you, but um, a hard fork is truly creating a new Bitcoin where you'll have an old one and a new one, essentially. And uh, it's very challenging to do that. Um, there's people who are arguing about it they won't concede on either side on what decision to make um, anyhow basically there was a threat today the price uh, went down because of that uh, people vote with their dollars and people there were some people who wanted to make a statement about how they believe about the hard fork let this be an indicator for us okay let this be an indicator so um, hope, hopefully the market should recover. Bitcoin's charts do, even after this pullback, remain bullish. In fact, in fact, if you do Elliott Wave Theory at all, um, it, this is the exact pullback we needed, the healthy pullback we needed to initiate a potential hyperbolic, out of control, ridiculous move upwards. I'm not going to say that that's going to happen because you guys know I don't do that kind of thing. But I am just strictly telling you what technical analysis appears to do. Um, as much as you do technical analysis, there's always a probability. And oftentimes that probability is like 50%. Like, right? Like it's not that great, but it's better than not having a clue, right? Um, there are some fantastic types of technical analysis out there um, where you can actually... Uh, predict quite well as high as like 70% sometimes so um, for those of you interested in some technical analysis um, there's this website that, that I use right here and it looks super cheesy look how cheesy this website looks, guys it looks like this thing was made in the 90s um, but the guy who made this site it's called the pattern site.com and if you've ever been interested in technical analysis uh, you want to uh, go to this website, right? And what's fascinating about this website is that, um, again, it's thepartnersite.com, and he has all the different types of things um, that technical analysis people look at, what type of things they're looking at, at charts. Um, right here, I'm looking at a famous one called uh, Cup with Handle, um, and it walks through all the math and how accurate it is. And look, right here, right here, you have a break-even failure rate of 5%. Um, overall performance rank, one being the best, um, of all the types of uh, market uh, chart analysis uh, types that there are, I guess that's the best, or charts of that nature, this is ranked 13th out of 23rd. Right? Um, so he, it's actually ranked, like it's historically ranked over time when you look at markets, um, which is fascinating, right? So the probability is there's actually things that are better than others at predicting what will happen. Uh, here you can see that a cup and handle, an average rise is 34% with a throwback of 58 um, and a percentage meeting price of 50 I mean, you can really deep dive into this stuff, and I just wanted to point some of you guys who are actually more interested in this stuff. Um, 
I try not to do any technical analysis on here. I do from time to time, just, just a little tiny bit, but only because I'm still an amateur and I'm still learning, but um, when I feel like I've discovered something interesting or something I wanna show you guys, I, I'll do that for you. But if you're, if you're fascinated by it, I would highly recommend this website because um, I have learned a ton on here, and even though it's like stuck in the 90s, it actually ranks really, really well on Google. Like people use this. This is really this is the real deal. Okay. Um, now, some of you may uh, argue about cryptocurrency markets and how these things shouldn't apply because of the, the this time span and things like that. Um, my argument to that um, is well, actually, one I agree. Let me say that, but to a certain extent, I would say that for small cap coins and most altcoins. Don't do it, okay? Don't do it. Um, it's a, it's a little, it's just, it's hard. It's not easy. Um, let someone else who's who's been doing this a lot longer for you to let let them do it. Um, however, um, Ethereum and Bitcoin and things like that, um, this is very relevant um, and very real. And so, um, yeah. Just uh, if you're interested, consider it. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to wrap that up. That is my market update. Appreciate you guys, appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, I'm going to pop over here. And we're just going to take a quick last look at the chart. Ether versus, versus Bitcoin, the great flippening. We're still waiting for that um, to happen. But we are at 0 0.139 right now. Uh, basically, 0.14 Bitcoin. And uh, that's what's going on, guys. So again... Uh, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope this video wasn't choppy. Uh, my recorder's acting kind of funny, so I'm hoping that's not the case. But I hope you guys really appreciate this episode. Uh, I've had a lot more people ask me to just kind of do a market update for them so they can listen while they're uh, doing work or listen while they're on the road and things like that. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update. want to make sure you guys feel safe out there, all right? And uh, for everyone, for every Ethereum uh, lover out there, okay, this is for you. This is for you. This is this is my advice for the day. All right. This is it. And if you're not looking at your screen, now's the time because here it is. This is the advice, guys. Right there. You guys see that? That's right. That's what we're doing, guys. That's what we're doing. We're holding. If you panic today and you sold at 320, 330, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing because we're already back to 350. Don't forget our 24-hour high is only 378 right now, guys. Like, that's nothing. Nothing, guys. Uh, since I started this video, it's like, you know, it's already moving back up. Don't panic. Don't panic, guys. Just just hold. Just hold. Um, if you like this t-shirt, um, I got a link down below. I got the affiliate link set up. I think this t-shirt's hilarious. Um, I'm going to wear it to work, and people are going to be like, dude, do you, do you know how to spell, bro? <laughs> so um, I'm really, really excited about this one. Um, I think it's a hilarious shirt, uh, and, and it's a good looking shirt. If you, uh, they got some different colors, feels great. Um, uh, it fits just right for me. Um, it's definitely long enough. It's definitely long enough. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, it, I guess it fi feels and fits great. I just put it on. It just showed up. UPS just dropped it off. So, uh, check out that shirt, um, and as always, if you do any shopping on Amazon and you want to support my channel, all you have to do is click that link, and then I get uh, some of the commission from the sale, which is sweet. And uh, so you're still going to buy what you need on Amazon, and you're going to help me out. A lot of you are buying uh, maybe some mining equipment, or you guys are buying cold wallets and things like um, th things like that, hardware wallets. Um, but uh, get some swag. Get some swag. Uh, for a coin that you love. I have a bunch down below. Um, but just get some swag because uh, there's nothing cooler than when someone asks you, what is Ethereum? Uh, what is Steemit? Uh, talk, what is NIM? Um, it's fantastic. It's a great opportunity, guys, to um, spread the good news about cryptocurrency and uh, blockchain technology because at the end of the day, it's cool that like people are making money, um, but... Uh, this stuff's going to change people's lives around the world and set a lot of people free. Um, so let's not lose sight of the real value of what's happening here. Let's talk about it. Let's spread the news. Um, and let's be safe out there with your investing, guys. All right? So that's it. 
Um, I am the King of Deal. I'll be back with the news later tonight. So stick around. And as always, may the Force be with you.